Welcome back everybody to more Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. Part of my continuing series on the downloadable content. Green Country Club, the Inward 9 today. We played the Outward 9 last time, so we're now going to look at the second half of this course. Um, and I think, as I said last time, you can kind of treat this course as a as a beginner's oh, course, really. It's, it's, it's a fairways and greens. There's no particular challenges on there, but it's certainly harder than Evil City. So first I'll par 4. We've got stronger winds, but Tornado Cups today, so we're going to have to think about where we um, where we position ourselves on the fairway a little bit more than last time. Yeah, Just make sure we hit our fairways and hit our greens. And again, so I aimed off the right-hand side there and ended up in the middle. So, 104 to go. Bit of a crosswind, and it's a little bit in our face, but Tornado Cups... The trick with the Tornado Cups is just to make sure you give yourself a chance. You want to go past the pin, just to give yourself a chance to, to end up in it. So again, it's a little bit downhill. Put a little bit of spin on it, but again, the wind's going to catch this, so it'll probably end up a bit short. Yeah, I need to read that wind better. That's way short. Oh, I'll be backspin there, and a little bit left, so I didn't read the wind very well there. Okay, so pretty even break, but quite a Looks serious like break, and it needs a Breaking foot, to the right. a foot extra. So we'll go for the harder slog, and we'll really give it a, a hit, and hopefully the tornado cup will catch it. There you go, and bring it in. So we'll take our birdie. Oh, eleven. It's a par four. So this is a bit like, if you remember from the outward nine, there was another hole a little bit like this where you kind of got to lay up before the before the the water. But again, people can drive that with the custom clubs. We're playing with standard clubs, so the wind's going to shape it round the corner for me. But I might just give it a bit of help. So I'm going to aim about there, and what I'm going to try and do is bend it right to left. So I'm going to go down and left, and then up and right. Oh, we missed the impact. But we still got a bit of left spin on it. And it'll curl round. Bounced in the rough, but gets us into that corner much closer than if we'd have sort of left it itself. So we left ourselves 60 yards, which puts us in approach range. Now, fair bit of wind. Let's learn the lesson from last time. So let's maybe go four squares across. And see what that looks like. It is going to kick a little bit as well. Just from the lie, if you look at the lie indicator, fly the tiniest bit left. Okay, I'm going to get, try and get a bit of backspin on this. There we go. Only just the normal spin. Bravo. Wind's going to catch it. Wow, the wind's pretty... Great. Not as strong as I thought there, actually. Oh, that birdie. Pace was good, though. But it gives us a birdie pup. So it's going to break oh, right. But primarily, it's the uphill we want to counter. And with a bit of luck, Tornado Cup catches it. And a nice bird. Okay, par three. It's a par three. Again, it's a nice short par three. What it does mean, though, see, it's a seven iron and it's downhill, so the wind will really play on this. So maybe about there. And again, it's way downhill, so pace wise, we don't need all the pace in the world. Got the ultra spin. Let's see where this ends up. What? Now, this has got a chance if it comes back. Oh, not quite enough. Not quite close oh, enough. Play. But you can see what I mean. You want to go oh, past the funny. pin, and if you can, ideally, come back into it. So, fair bit of break there. Waking to the left. But again, I want to give the give the cup chance to catch it. There you go. Again, tornado. You, you should be you should be able to part on these. So par four to come, thirteenth. Oh, it's a par four. And it's just kind of a gentle bend to the right. The real challenge here is that there's that bunker there, sort of guarding the front. But again, with the wind the way it is, I think I don't need to worry too much about it. I'm certainly not going to drive into it. It's the crosswind I want to look at. So we'll play this just with a bit of top. Come on! Oh, good shot. Let's just get it up there and give ourselves a good second shot in. Okay, I'll take that. So we are going to come in over that bunker. So we just need to be mindful. I mean, we've got enough room to work with. Now on landing, it will roll left. So the wind will take it to the right. The lie will take it to the right. And the wind will bring it back to the left. 
so maybe about there. Again, it's it's considerably uphill, so we need to give it a bit of give it a bit of grunt. Let's see what see what we can do. So we can catch it there. Oh, not quite enough. Lime was really good. So a little bit more pace there. We might have got a chip in. So again, strong break. Needs a firm shot, but hopefully a couple catch in as it comes up. There we go. So par five to come on fourteen. Oh, 14. It's a par This is another one that bends around, but there's a bit of altitude, so you can't actually see the pin. Now, at the length we've got here, it's not really a problem. But what we want to do is to get ourselves a good second shot in. So we want, ideally, not be tucked in here where there's a chance, you know, we'll end up here or we'll get tucked up by the tree. So we probably want to aim middle of the fairway. It'll knock us out a bit wider, but that should give us a good line. So we'll play for about there. Put the power shot on. And really, this is about giving ourselves the best possible second shot. We don't want an obstructed view that we would get if we stayed on the right. So we should be middle of the fairway. Nice clear view of the pin. There you go. And not so far that that bunker will come into play. So again... Yeah, could play the five. We'll see the difference there. My three, I just so overpowered. Um, so again, the wind will catch it. Uh, it's a bit of a headwind. Now what we could do here is we could bend it into the wind. So if we try to slice it a bit, straighten it up in that wind, which is what we might try. So we're going to play top left and then bottom right. And what that should do is hook it right round and actually make the wind curl it round. There we go. It takes the bunker right out of play. Need a bit more pace in reality. Oh, for the eagle. So, wow, that's a really strong break. Looks like it's hooked up. <laughs> to the left. Looks like it strokes left. Yeah. So let's play to about there. We need to hit this really firm. And then hope the, the cup catches it. Let's have a look at that one. Break, 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 break. Hull gets it. Yeah. Nice eagle putt. We'll take that. Hole 15. It's a part so 15. Bit of a roller coaster, but but pretty straight hole. And again, we've got the tailwind this time, so I'm going to play just to the left of that tree. And what I might do this time is, is do the opposite of what I did last time. So rather than hooking it, I want to slice it. So what I'm going to try and do is... Sorry, I'm going to try and hook it, which should straighten it up in the wind, if you see what I mean. thinking this through. So the wind's going to push it that way naturally, so we want to be back there. Yeah, that's what we want to do. And we'll play it with a little bit of... a little bit of hook, I think, actually, which should straighten it up in the wind. Okay, so we're going to go down right, up left. Got the impact. Alright, the tree. So that was a mistake, wasn't it? I could sort of clear those trees, but clearly not. So, second shot, try that once more with feeling. Let's just play there, see if we can drive it to the green. So, the most difficult approach you could have using the three wood. Will I even get there? Will I even get there? I'll just be a little bit short. So, we're gonna have to work hard here just to get the par. So, we're gonna have to play for the chip in here. So, Wind's going to push it right. We're going to play this with a bit of run. So we're going to use top spin on this. And try and just pitch it up. Uh, it's probably short. Probably short. Yeah, not enough run on it. With a bit more pace though, that might have, that might have gone in. So par pop. But oh, the mistake was the first shot, really. I just thought I could take those trees out. Forgetting, of course, topspin gives you a flatter shot. So I was never going to get over those trees. Oh, it's a par three. Anyway, let's forget that. Par three. Now, this says 171, but look at that. Six metre headwind. So we're playing into the teeth of the gale here. So I'm going to club up to the five. I'm really hit through it. 
and then try and stop it with a backspin. Oh, nice shot! Again, did I read it all right? Yeah, over pitched it a bit. Yeah, and then you don't get the effect of the backspin because you've come off the green to the rough. Okay, so this is going to be tricky. But again, let's just try and run it. We're going to lose a tiny bit on the power on the way out. I just want to pitch it and run it. Pitch it and run it. There we go. Oh, there you go. Nice I can't it. It's the unconventional way to get your birdie, but I'll take it. I can't believe it. I got yourself a birdie. <laughs> That's your first chip in. Oh, I suppose, yeah, it's the first time I've been off it's the green, powerful. really. Okay. So again, this one bends round. And there's the headwind to encounter, so let's let's give this all the beans. That was my last power shot as well. But again, the wind should just hold it up there. There we go. And we'll end up somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and that should give us a good second shot in. Okay, so 101 to go. Right into the teeth of the gale. So pitching wedge, 9 iron. I don't know, maybe even 8. Let's go, let's go 9 iron. Let's give it all the beans on the nine iron. Oh, this is all about. Wow, the wind really caught it, didn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, over pitched it as well. So that was a mistake. Don't take your eye off the gate. Okay. So it's going to roll right. So again, let's see if we can pitch and roll it. Going to get it out that bunker though. Up and on, roll it. Go on. Uh, a couple of foot short, really. Just relax. But again, relatively straightforward putt, but a relatively straightforward putt for a par. Bit disappointed. Pretty good. You're so pleased with pars. This will be the last. So last hole. It's a par. Lost all my power shot, so I could. T you can actually have a power shot, but of course, if you look now, look at the impact zone. So I take the power shot on, you've basically got to be pixel perfect to get it. Now the penalty here isn't too high, but into the headwind anyway, it's not worth it. You know, another 10 yards versus, you know, being off the fairway, not worth the effort. As it happens, of course, I do hit the perfect impact, but the safe play is, is not to use it for another 10 yards, particularly this length. So 206 to go. Now we've got a crosswind because we're coming around the corner. And again, right on the R range, really. Yeah, three wood's probably not the club. So let's stay on the three iron. Let's give it a bit of top spin. Let's see if we can roll it up. So again, the longer irons, the wind has less impact, but still has an impact. Go on. Just on the fringe. It's not bad. Now, what it does give us, it gives us the option to chip. Because we're not on the green, which we might just take here. So again, I'm just going to try and roll it past with a bit of luck. The couple grab it. Yeah, we get our eagle. Again, you could probably putt that, but I, can't it. I like chippings. So there you go, nine under. Um, I think this is harder than the first nine. Certainly, it's it's a harder. There's more undulation, um, even accounting for the strong wind. But it's a good course. Um, as I said, it's, it's very much aimed at the beginner. Um, so if you've played Eagle City and you're thinking about buying a DLC course, this would be another good course to, to get your eye in on how to read wind and, and the greens and things. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll look at the other DLC courses as we carry on this series. So if you, you did like it, please like, share and subscribe. Um, let's just see how we did. It's the first time I've played that, apparently. Oh, yeah, because it would be in the Turbo Cups. Got all the fairways though, which is great. So I'll see you next time for a little bit more Everybody's Golf.